Hi, hello, welcome back to Monster Train. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day so far today. Um, not much need to talk about at the start here. Uh, no episode yesterday. Again, you know, we're going to be a little less consistent with, you know, school and work happening. So, sorry about that, but that's just, you know, sort of the way things are. Uh, let, let's hop in. What, what, what did, I don't even remember what the last run was. Was it the, was it the Shattered Shell run? Or not the Shattered Shell. Husk Hermit. I believe it was the Husk Hermit run, which was cool. Enjoyed the run. First of kin infusions are always cool. Let's see what happens here today. What are we starting with? Okay, some melted boys. We got uh, we got Hellhorn secondary. We have no reform cards here, but my first instinct is to do a reform imp strategy. We could get, you know, Dark Calling Rector if we need it. Well, we want it, I suppose. Uh, and we got good good cards to start here. Fatal Melting. Not my favorite AoE damage spell. Okay, we're, we're trying to make imps really happen here. Not my favorite AoE damage spell, but we'll see what happens. And we get the Dark Calling at first tier too, which is nice. We want the Divine Boon. Uh, I think we're strong enough to take it. But it doesn't do anything right now. Unfortunately. But I think we are strong enough to take it. We, we, got, we got good spells. Good enough, at least. Well, I'm taking the unit draft here. We have horn break, so we can we can break through uh, the crossbowman in the back line here if we need to. If we, hopefully, we don't. Oh, well. Maybe a little harder than I thought it would be. We'll see. Let me put this up top to catch a collector. Be more damage in the long run. I think we actually care about just preserving health on Rector here. You're a bastard. Play like that. Ping. Let's just work you down. Maybe we can get a kill on you. We'll see. We're close. You can just horn break here, which is nice. Five damage. Uh... Okay, not quite the kill, but pretty close. Twenty-four health. There you go. Take, we take four damage for the trial. I'm okay with that. We might have taken the damage. Any oh, we wouldn't have taken the damage, I don't think. Yeah, but... Or, I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, It's not a summon trigger, so Entomb does not work with Ashes of the Fallen, but... It might be just good for now. We're not... I don't think we're playing a Burnout run. We're, we're kind of too invested. Not too invested, but we're... Really paid off by going Imps here. Then we just take it being doomed. Okay, you know, if we're forced to... If we're forced to take an imp, we'll take an imp there. It's not the best imp ever, but whatever. Orn Warrior works well with, with imp strategies, but so does Railbeater, so we'll take the Railbeater. Um, I'm thinking here... I could see us infusing this Molting Imp into the Entombed Explosive. It's what, 12, 15 damage AoE, right? 15 damage AoE, which is 30. That's basically backline solved. And it, it gets through spell shield too, which is pretty nice. I can see that being a line here. Especially if we see Endless in the store. If we see Endless in the store, I like that infusion right now. Um, We'll see. We're going right side here. I think that's a pretty easy one. Archstone does nothing for us. Bellhorn Banner. I don't want the second row beater. self infuse is kind of lame. I don't like Branded either that much right now. I think it's a skip. Sorry to say, it just doesn't, this doesn't do anything for us, really. Um, I 
The only bad roll here on the on the merchant of steel is quick. Seek stone. Anything worth seek stoning here? Maybe a drip fall for playing top floor later. That's a that's a big later. Hold on. Let's, let's roll this first. Get a better idea of what we're doing here. Okay. Multi on rail beater. You do like it. And you know what? Maybe this is a bit uh, ambitious here, but I'm going to go for the infusion now. I think this is going to be really good. With Dark Calling Rector to bring it back, I think it'll perform well for us. Um, I don't think the Seek Stone is worth it, though, because it's going to be so long before it's actually useful, and we're going to be you know, paying for those shards the whole way. So I think we, I think we just uh, relax for now. Keep it at threat level orange here. I feel like we're a pretty good start to handle the Mark of Invasion. We'll go with that, but I don't know. In theory, it might be a mistake, but I, I feel like we're strong enough to handle it. Um. I guess this is just saving damage, technically. Put you down. You know what, let's just take care of you right now. Nothing changes. Well, I guess this, this kills you. Okay. Cool. Put you here for now. Uh, if you die, you just do no damage for leaking. Okay, cool. I don't want to play Train Steward because Train Steward makes it possible that we reform. I guess it doesn't matter that much. We only get to play one unit anyway. Whatever. We'll put him in for the extra five damage. Okay. We got the best unit anyway, so that's sick. Cool. Okay. A, a narrow victory there, but we got him. Uh, hmm. I can see Giraffe Infusion on Railbeater being pretty good because we could try to just reform Railbeater, which is something I've never tried before. That could be our. We could Dark Calling Railbeater. I kind of like that. Oh, Welder Helper. Okay, now we're now we're cooking. Now we are cooking indeed. Definitely going right side here. Okay, endless endless on the. Um, ooh, now. Now it's interesting. Well, what do you, what do you endless here? What do you, what do you value more, the armor or the entombed explosive? Oh man, decisions, decisions, right? I don't know. I don't know which is better. They're both good. Don't get me wrong. We need a way to scale rail beater. And we need a way oh man, it's tough. It is it is genuinely tough. I don't know what is better. I'm gonna we've already invested in it. I'm gonna go with the uh the molting in tomb. I think I think it's gonna be very strong. And if we roll, there's a small chance we can buy the major upgrade. I think we just save our money here. We're, we're pretty strong. I think we wait till ring six to do the draft infusion. Although, 
We need the scaling now. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. We need to we need to scale rail beater now, so. This is how we do it. It would be nice to get like a uh, a wax spike at this point. Permafrost it and then once we're like ready to go into relentless we drop it or something. That could be nice. Oh. You know what? Would like to roll that shop again. I'll, I'll, I'll take the I'll take the hit here. Hmm. Already triple striking. You know, I think I think I'm okay with quick here. I think I'm okay with quick quick uh, quick. I think I'm okay with quick rail beater here. It's already triple striking, which is enough attacks. I feel like. Um. And then we can use the the welder helper armor entirely on the rector to keep it alive, because like because like if we were trying to keep you know, if we we're trying to keep rail beater around for a couple turns. Because here's the thing, right? Eventually, eventually, rail beater stops burning out. Is like the problem. He gets too much burnout. So we would need to uh, you know keep him alive for multiple turns. If he dies, it's not a big deal. But having him be quick means that he's always going to be able to attack every turn. And he won't get he won't get like you know murdered by strong waves. I think it's okay. Let's try it. Um I don't know, this is this is something I haven't tried before. I've never really used uh, Dark Calling Rector to to increase the damage of our carry unit before. So it's kind of, this is this is kind of unexplored territory for me right now. But we'll, we're, I think this will be good. Let's knock off your damage shield. Um. Let me put you down. Double torch to get rid of the Ember Drain. Mm. Play it like that. Like, we, we can play Welder Helper, but it doesn't do anything is the problem right now. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. I think I just end the turn. So I can reform these guys again. Okay, so Rector, Rector kills everyone there, basically. Should have put you down first and then horn broken you, or tried to horn break you, I guess. He doesn't actually kill. That uh, here, kill everything. Okay. So where do you play Rail Beater? I guess technically here is a little bit better. A is stopping these guys from getting to the top floor. And I guess there's a B, but I don't know what it is. Here we get the big dragon. I already have a W, but you know, just wanted to show him what's up. Okay, that's working for now. Uh, I'll take an alloy here. 
It's fine. I think this is a skip. You could make an argument that maybe with this tycoon would be pretty cool here for getting like, you know, some extra money, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little late. And I think I want a size upgrade, man. I think I want to be able to fit like uh, that melting, that entombed explosive on that floor with those guys there. So I think, I think this is a size upgrade run, which is kind of weird. Um... Spells don't seem that important right now. They're okay, but we're really a unit-focused deck here. So right side is looking kind of lame. I think I want to go left side. Get some removals. Start removing. You know, despite me saying it's a unit-focused deck, start removing these train stewards. Um, look at the free artifact. I like Unbroken Horn here. We're, we have a lot of turns where we're just kind of playing nothing, so it would be nice to stock, stockpile some energy. And then if we do get that uh, that wax spike, we can do a pretty big spike. So I like that. Remnant banner. Well, I mean, it is a bounty stalker. What am I supposed to do? Not take it? We already we already used the draft somewhere else. But we could we could probably use a bounty stalker on this deck, I think. Yeah, sure. He taking Dark Calling. I mean, we're, we're kind of playing this uh, this Rail Beater as if it was a, a Bounty Stalker. Which is strange. Anyway, let's get in there. I mean, Bounty Stalker is going to act the same way that Dreg act during the last combat, basically. Um, also, I, th I think we can take this. Oh, we're 60 shards. It's a lot. Build marksman, we should be able to pick off with horn breaks. I, I I think we take this combat. I don't know, maybe maybe it's a mistake. Don't want to play the torch. This seems like a bad idea. I put you down. Mm. I guess it doesn't matter which floor I put you down on. Just here. Take the money. Didn't play any more spells there. That's probably not great. Okay, we need to we need to get back bounty stalkers. No more no more units being played here. Okay. that cashed in now yeah the train stewards gotta go nothing but trouble here getting the kill there no problem I think this just kills you seems fine to me Might as well pick them off. Uh, that makes sense to me. Let me put you up here, take the Ember Drain. Bring back the Bounty Stalker next turn. Could you kill this for me, please? No? Fuck you. Piece of shit. Whatever. Um, we shouldn't need memories. We have unbroken horn. We have a bunch of junk cards. Would be kind of cool, maybe to make a giant draft. 
out of the junk cards and then reform it with Rector a bunch of times. Although, oh man, the draft it forms might be cardless, and if it is cardless, we wouldn't be able to reform it. I don't know how. I don't know enough about Sacrificial Resurrection because I never take it. Memento Mori, I mean, we, we kill a lot of our own units, but it's just not a good card. So let's just skip that. Inferno seems good here. Inferno because we want to kill a lot of our own units, like the Bounty Stalker. That seems pretty tight. I'll take that. Uh, before I skip it, Impish Scholar brings back Alloy, and only Alloy right now, which is pretty cool. It's basically a Welder Helper, but worse, because we only have one Alloy. If we had two Alloys, then, you know, that's kind of neat. I think I like the Inferno here, though. Definitely go on left, so we need to figure out a way to kill our uh, Bounty Stalker. And I know the way to do it, it's just putting a Burnout Stone and Endless on it. Which is not nearly as cool as, you know, multi-strike, uh, eat endless with a draft infusion, but that's just kind of the way this one's going to go, I think. Okay, there's the endless. We could put it on the Welder Helper, but we just, you know, haven't needed the Welder Helper at all yet. That seems, that makes more sense to me. And then we roll and we find that burnout upgrade. No. Okay, we find a multi-strike... I mean, multi-strike kind of makes sense if you think about it, if you think about it, right? We put multi-strike instead of burnout. The bounty stalker is only dying half as effectively, but it's attacking twice. And then when we do something like find the uh, uh, Inferno holdover, it'll be stronger in the long run. I, I think multi-strike is better here than the burnout stone, but not by much. Anyway. Give me a Divine Horde. <sighs> we already have Quick on our uh, Elevator, but Light's Gift is probably still good here. The rest of these don't do anything for us, really, so I guess we'll take Light's Gift. I guess I'll take the best Relic in the game. Boo-hoo. Um, this is a little annoying, mainly because all of these uh, fall off when the unit dies. They don't stay on forever. I guess we can take the Umbra Stone here. We'll take the Umbra Stone and maybe we'll permafrost it for Relentless. Like, just to clear through the wave quickly. In the Relentless Combat, because that's what we're going to struggle with the most right now. I don't know. Crystal Cloak probably kills us, I just realized. Oh, it's Crystal Cloak. Okay, well. We can stall with Endless Units, actually. I think we'll be okay. But it's a little dicey for sure. There you go. Enjoy your armor and attack. up here coward oh do we want to drag in the reform pile it wouldn't hurt I suppose but I don't think we really need it also I want to I want to hit a uh, imp next turn the welder helper no nope? okay fine I was actually lying. I did not want to hit an imp next turn. That was a that was a bait. Reverse a little reverse psychology. Maybe you've maybe you've never heard of it. Um. Honestly, let's just get you in the back of this line. I don't know. Okay, that's, that's handled. I'll put 
that here for now. You should not be alive. Whatever. Let's put this here, I guess. Okay, we win. And I already know the answer. Bounty Stalker, I know you're not gonna die, but please just die. Oh, it died actually. Never mind. I'm, I'm a genius. Hooray. We did it. Oh, give me a crushing demise. Hell yeah. I'm gonna fucking murder this Bounty Stalker, dude. He's done for. It's over. Okay, we gotta find some upgrades for the Inferno. Inferno would be really nice to get some upgrades on, so let's go over here. Get some removals, nice. As well for this deck, also with a sneeze. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Oh, my bad. Not really my bad, I guess, I don't know. Oh. No extreme stone or true stone there required. If we get a holdover for the Inferno, I do like that. I would really like a uh, value stone, which does not exist, actually. There are no value stones. This is the last temple here. Good to know. Um, I will lower the cost then down to two for the Inferno. And we will most likely take an energy upgrade from this next uh, this next major enhancement then at that point. Um, what upgrades do we want here? Like, the trample stone thing is just kind of not really a thing, if you ask me. It doesn't matter. I'll roll. Look for... Look, 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 blah. look to lower the cost on crushing demise. Look for a holdover for that later, maybe. We'll see. Oh, God. That sneeze. That sneeze scrambled my brain, dude. Anyway. Let's go to Arcus. Hopefully no purple. Oh, it's purple. It's double purple. The actual worst combination for us here. You suck. Put it down here, but it is dazed. Um. Put that up here. Would love to Inferno here, we just don't have the energy for it, which is sad. Um. And listen, he'll die eventually, don't worry. Hmm. I want him, I want them dying. Oh, let's torch you. <laughs> I don't think it matters too much. Good assassination down there real quick. You're dead, which is good. I think we play this as well just to uh, get the cursed man killed. You gotta keep the reform pool fairly trim here so we can get the right cards back. You piece of garbage. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this guy getting in the way of shit. With his dang old purple orbs. Gotta go somewhere. Yeah, that's a lot of fire damage. I'm 
Yeah, you hit the wrong unit, no big deal. Happens to the best of us. Okay, we're taking like two more curses next turn. That's not great. You're not dead, damn. Okay, no. Little iffy. Okay, you're killing you, which is good. You were supposed to elevator these guys. Let me look at it. You're dead. Okay. Um. It seems fairly good. Okay. you play this okay we're good there nice inferno for a hundred here ah fuck you god damn it Okay, we get there. We reform the wrong dregs, or we reform the wrong units off of uh, Rector there. We get the dub. That was that was uh, iffy. Okay, Hallowed Halls. I mean, the problem with Hallowed Halls is that our Bounty Stalker has endless, but just with the rail, we could do Rail Beater. I feel like and just have and just have two Hallowed Halls, and that would work really well. So we have Merchant of Magic here. We have a hell event down here. I think the Hallowed Halls is worth speculating on. And then we take that. Take the energy here. And we'll see what we see in this magic shop. If we get a holdover, I think we can make it work. We'll see. That's remove consume. It's not great. Or the cost. Roll it. Uh, permafrost. Not great. <laughs> Not great at all. Okay. Well. I mean, we can maybe still make Hallowed Halls work with like just a, a shit ton of units here, right? We'll see. I think we're still... We're, we're going to look for it on this side. It means we, we missed the dupe on the rail beater. But I, I think it's still doable. I might be wrong though, I don't know. Or the cost of alloy. I think we save money. I don't think we want to make uh, the, the trample book uh, permafrosted. I think we take this money too, in case we don't do the... We're not doing the dupe now. Take this money here, we take the uh, artifact there for 100. What do you got for me here, game? Oh, love, love, love random consume spells. Maybe like I get a book here? No urchin spines? No. No urchin spines. No thank you. Mm. I'm gonna keep going dark calling here. Spell shield 2. It stops our torches. Yeah, that, that's worth the that's worth the cost of doing business here, I think. Okay, you're dying, which is good. Give Rector the armor. Might as well whittle you down. 
Maybe I should have saved the energy. I don't know. We have Unbroken Horn. Start reforming you. We start scale. We start act properly scaling the uh, the bounty stalker now. It's like about time, right? They just keep killing him, man. And this Welder Helper has been unfortunate. It's just it's just never able to be in the right spot, I feel like. like it's always like it's always like trying to buff the rail beater who's already alive and about to burn out. It's just like unfortunate. This is this is this is the plan. We got we got lucky. Execution went pretty well this time. It's not always gonna be this easy. But this is what I wanted to do. I do it in this order. Okay, apparently that changes nothing. Let's trigger your spell shield too. Might as well. You have no units in the graveyard, huh? Put you up here. No room for your top floor. Let's end it. Could, could, could gamble on that. That's not, though. Take my 400 gold. Thank you very much. I think I like Entrapment here. Getting some big dazes on the Divinity, Divinity could be useful. Especially for Relentless Combat, so... Makes sense to me. We're going right side. We're still looking for that Holdover. Holdover, uh, Hallowed Halls. Changes up the run quite a bit here, I feel like. Probably remove torches at this point. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's, before we do anything crazy, look around a bit, see what's going on. Okay. We hit the holdover. Is it even good, though? I don't know. We'll see. We're definitely removing torches, and if we're going to use these drafts for anything, probably. Makes sense to me. Um... Gotta go in here. Okay, drop cage makes these uh, drip falls that we have really strong. So I like that. Okay, in case Ember makes uh, what's it called, infinite energy? But I don't know if we need infinite energy at this point. Jack strips remove spikes, which is good, or damage shield, which is good too. So we'll take that. Do we need the encased ember? I don't I don't feel like we need it. I think we're good on energy right now. <laughs> Wish we'd taken it now. Um Faulty Loot is okay because our scale up is pretty weak. I think we just purge. Actually, you know what? We need the torches to, to Oh, we don't need the torches. I was gonna say we need the torches to kill Welder Helper, but we haven't played Welder Helper once the entire game, I feel like, so. We we'll like that. And top floor divinity will sweep away the Welder Helper, so that's okay. Play it like that. Mm. Okay. Then we need some luck on this one, but we, we, we are kind of strong. Rector comes up here. Let's 
Let's trip away that damage shield. Welder helper at last. Put that down here. It's pretty good. Enjoy your entrapment. Maybe you should have saved up the energy there. Gotta remember we have the unbroken horn. Fuck you, by the way. Um... Yep, that floor is handled. We'll just Inferno down here. Should have dripped you down first, that's my bad. Okay. Do we start Hallowed Halls in here? I don't I don't even I don't wanna do it. I don't know, man. It just... I, I, I committed to it, but it just doesn't feel good here. It's just we have the Inferno killing our own Bounty Stalker now? Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it does anything. I guess you can, like, do something like this here. And make, like, a drag floor. Okay, drag, drag floor uh, mission extremely failed. I do need to get this welder helper out of here, actually. Let's do, yeah, let's do that. This, do this. Hold on a second. Three, two. You're, oh, we need to. We need to do some of this rail beater. Shit. He's gonna burn out at a very uh, unideal time. Well, it doesn't even work up here, which is not great. Um, okay. Can we just lose this? Because he burns out right away. Okay, well... We're gonna do something weird here. Maybe we do have to do the burnout- the- 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 what's it called? Maybe we have to do the... the strategy. The... What's it- what am I trying to say? Maybe we do have to do, uh... Hallowed Halls. That's what I'm trying to say. We'll see, I suppose. Okay. 
okay. I've done all this before, basically. Okay, fine. So do that there. Days where we can. Should have dripped him down first there to get the extra hundred damage. Okay, here's Hallowed. Then we have to start Hallowed Halsing now to get Rail Beater up. Um, who who else is in the Deadpool? No one? Okay. Everyone still dies, that's good. Yeah, I think I think this is correct. Even though this fucker here makes it through, I think this is the right way, right way to play it. We can even just Inferno up here too, so that guy doesn't leak. Okay. We can put it. We can put a dragon in the mix here too. I don't see why not. I should have saved that energy, I'm dumb. I needed that energy next turn, no. I think we stop infernoing now. We just hallowed halls. Okay, well, could have been better, I suppose. We're, we're alive. Okay. Not great. Not, not a great one. Um... Alidols? Uh. <laughs> I can't fit Bounty Stalker in. Uh, maybe we can finagle it somehow, but I don't. I don't know how we do it from here. Let's see. Let's see what we can finagle. That. I mean, that worked better. That was a better line. I don't know. Let's, uh, do this. You know what? Let's get Umbrazo out of our deck right now. I don't want to see it. Honestly, I'm tired of drawing it. No respect for it. We're trying to finagle 
I think what we do here is this. That's a little finagling right there. We're killing both of them. Let's save our energy up, uh, with, with this molten. Can I keep playing this? Let's save the energy. How about that? Let's get this drag on the floor, too. He's going to be there eventually. Might as well have him in now. Okay. And let's not worry about scaling the bounty stalker. Let's get damage through with it. That makes more sense to me, I feel like. Just save some pyre help. Let's do that. Get you up here. Just burning out next turn. Doesn't seem like a huge deal to me. I think we just save our energy. Pass. Okay, that floor is cleared. Push you down. He doesn't hit, but he just takes an extra hundred there. Okay. Definitely keep dripping this man the best we can. I think this is going to work better. My man is dazed for like 800 turns, which is cool. And I think, you know what we're supposed to do? I just realized we're not supposed to play Bounty Stalker because the Bounty Stalker takes up all of his, uh, all of his dazes. We'll play it here just for the, uh, you know, the, the extra kill there. But then we're supposed to let him go with 20 million dazes into the Relentless here. I think that's how we're supposed to play this one. We'll let him get into the Relentless Pool, too. We can't play at all. Put that down here. Pass the turn. How's this look? Okay, there we go. Everyone burns out except for the Railbeater. Railbeater gets the kill. I don't hate it. A little finagling, but we get there. We were literally one burnout away from dying, too. I mean, we could have reformed again, obviously, but, you know. Might have gotten a worse unit order. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this operates in the Divinity. I think it'll be more or less the same. It'll be really close. Maybe, maybe we'll get something going here that's cool. I don't know. Will you be in the Reform Pool for now? Okay. Um, you here? Oh, 
I might have put the drag down. No, oh, whatever, it's fine. Well, again, let's just get this out of the. You know what? Let's put this here. Let's get let's get that out of the consume pool, or out, out of the card pool. I do not want to draw it, basically ever. Oh, beautiful hit. Um. We don't need the Welder Helper in there, really. I think it's actually kind of the worst unit to have in the in the thing there. It's, it's a shame, right? We don't even need Welder Helper in our... Uh, Hallowed Halls run. Crazy. Okay, we'll have, we'll have uh, Bounty Stalker start working on the mini-boss here. Um... And a little ember drain there, unfortunately. That yeah, pushes a lot of damage through, which is nice. Uh, what do you like more here, Hallowed or Entombed? I here I actually prefer Entombed. Seems good to me. this keep you dazed up can we take the pyre damage here not much we can really do to avoid it I don't think I want to stop the Pyro Wings. If the, if the Pyro Wings hits us and Ember Drains, we're kind of screwed here. Then you play it like that. It kills here. Bounty Stalker kills, I guess, everyone, which is cool. Okay. Don't have enough energy for the Entrapment, unfortunately, but we're doing pretty well top floor. Hmm. We have enough HP to survive a hit from the Light Priest. Well, we could have had another unit in here this whole time. Damn. Okay. Handled there, which is nice. This down here. Um, I don't think you play the horn break. I think you save energy. Okay, how are we looking? How are we looking here? We look at look some sort of daze effect. Okay, we already win. That's pretty tight. Put that up here, and there you go. That wasn't so bad. A little bit of a tough Sarah fight there, but we do a lot of damage to the uh, Divinity because it's, you know, getting hit every turn real good. I think the secret hero here is probably the Bounty Stalker because he was, he was outputting some pretty sick damage for us too that whole run. Even though we didn't have the optimal Bounty Stalker, by, by a long shot, it was still pretty strong. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.
Um, uh, yeah, that's it. The end. <laughs> I'll give you the seed. Hopefully I'll see you next time. What do we got here? Swimming suspect files. What does that even mean?